there guys, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update, where today we're going to be looking at Wallaby Holland, uh, because they've now officially fenced off the go-kart attraction area, and there's rumours of a 2022 replacement, and uh, now we're going to speak about uh, the official article via loopings, the, the news via loopings, which I've linked in the description down below this video, and then I'm going to share the Google Maps image and share my thoughts on what I think could be done with the attraction. So, before we get started with all of that, please like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this, subscribe if you are new around here, click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video guys, we are primarily theme park content and factual entertainment content, we do do interviews with celebrities as well, uh, we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers, we're all trying to hit 4k by the end of the year, we're also nearly three quarters of the way to 1 million views, so it'd be really helpful if you go back, watch the old videos and reminisce about the times that were pre-COVID. Uh, also guys, check the description for social media links and uh, also the Google Forms link where you can submit your own video ideas. And for now guys, let's have a look at Wallaby Holland's brand new attraction site, potentially for 2022, which is the closed SPNO go karts attraction site. So Wallaby Holland is making plans for a new attraction with construction fences with a mysterious message on them appearing at the station of the go karts track closed back in 2018. And it basically said something new is on its way. In other words, something new is coming. Now the go karts track was closed in the spring of 2018 following a painful accident. Initially Wallaby director Masha Van Til says she intended to reopen the payment attraction. They came to back to that later. At the beginning of the year when and Wallaby won the lawsuit over the incident. It was announced the go-kart track will never be put into operation again. Work is now underway on a different use for the area. Now, with the expansion, the amusement park wants to focus on a target group that has been tapped for several years, families with children. Now, a spokeswoman told Loopings, oh, we're going to make preparations for a family part. It's still too early for more details. An opening year has not been announced, but earlier it became clear that Wallaby wants to refurbish the Zero Zone themed area in 20. Way too. There was attractions such as the Lost Gravity Roller Coaster, which is a Mac Big Dipper, and the Crazy River Waterway. The former go karts track, located between Thrill Ride G Force and Roller Coaster Goliath, is part of the Speed Zone theme section, which was refurbished the previous season. The style of the new billboards is reminiscent of the Wilderness Area revamped in 2019 with lots of foliage. So it should be interesting to see what could happen uh, with this specific new attraction. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is speaking a little bit about uh, what is going on. Now, obviously, you can see on your screen right now Google Maps image. Now, obviously, the Google Maps image is of the current site. Um, and this basically is the overlook of the site of the go-karts. Now, of course, we do have a bit of grassland sort of next to the go-karts, which they could use if they wanted to, uh, but it is just a general outlook of the go-karts area itself. You can see it's a pretty decent site. I'm not saying roller coaster. There's not That's not what I'm going for here. If it is going to be a coaster, it'll be a family one, something like... Um, like a Pegasus Express at Park Asterix or uh, even something smaller than that, even like a, maybe one of those Yera family coasters or something like that. So I'm only suspecting a family coaster here if it's going to be a roller coaster, but I've got a feeling it'll just be an expansion of the area uh, with a couple of new flat rides, two or three new flat rides maybe. Uh, but it's very early to predict at this stage exactly what's going on until we see you know, more teasers or any more information surrounding all of this. And uh, I think it's going to be interesting to watch out and see exactly what could happen uh, with the site in question but for now at least at least we know that something is being done there we are then ladies and gentlemen thrill six of all ages that is sharing my thoughts on what i think could be happening a little bit you know it's a little bit early to say what could be happening but uh, just a little sort of look at the site and what could be there a family coaster flat rise package we never know at this stage uh, but we'll know more once we get more teas about the site uh, and we're looking probably at a 2022 opening we'll get more details uh, in the next few months but for now guys thank you very very much my name is coast shell keep on the coast life i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have a wallaby Day.